Hi, I'm April Voki, Life Skills Teacher. Welcome to Ponegansett Middle School, where we proudly support our country and all of our students. I'm so happy to have unique learning, news to you, and symbol sticks to help me be, be a better teacher and to help my students uh, learn. Of the United States, again, let's get it out of the United States, voted to as the Supreme Amendment to the Constitution. One of the best things about unique learning and news to you is it provides me with materials that are middle school level that have already been differentiated for the different levels for the students in my class. So they're learning about things that other kids at middle school are learning about and they're learning about up to the minute current event things that they are interested in learning about. It gives me vocabulary words, math lessons, reading lessons, writing lessons that are all about the content that things other kids at middle school are already learning about. Providing me with these materials already allows me to come up with other interesting and different things that I can do with the content to make it more interesting for my students. What are rules for the country called? People in the United States have equal rights. What are these rights written? Look, when you started in September, you only got two right. And look, did you do better? Yeah. Yes, you did. Nice job. Let's look on reading. <gasps> Robbie, look, when you started, you got four right. Look now, did you do better? Yeah. Yes, you did. Good job. Let's look at math. Keep uh -huh. it again sound. Look. <gasps> When you started in September, you got three right. Look now. Did you do better? Yeah. Yes, you did. Good job. Now let's look at your words. Are you ready? Okay. In words, you only got four right when you started. And now look. Did you do better? Yeah. High five, Robbie. Mm. Good work. You did better on all of your areas. Good job. Mm. So proud of you. Oh, Clarence. We will have Another area of unique learning that's been really great are the pre and post assessments that are right on the computer. The kids love to work on the computer. And it's really nice to see each month what area the kids have shown growth in, what areas they need to keep working on. The kids are engaged, of course, because it's on the computer. And they can see, too, because of the easy graphs, what they've done well on and what they've um, shown growth in. It's great for me to have that data collection right there on the computer. And with the changes, it's easy for me to tell what areas they need to work on and have that data collected immediately every month. Did you do better? Oh, ooh, yes. Yes, you did. Let's look at reading. I'm not sure. In the beginning of September, you had this many, right? Look now. Did you do better? Ooh, yes. yes, you did. Let's look at math. I don't know. In the beginning of September, you had five. Look now. <coughs> How many now? Eight. Did you do better? Yes. Yes, you did. Last one. Oh, words. Let's see. Many. In the beginning of September, you had this many. Look now. Did, did you do better? Yes. Yes, you did. High five. You did better on every single area. The very best things about unique learning is when my students are studying the same things that the other students at the school are studying. It really lends itself well for inclusion types of activities. When Mr. Kalenda found out that my students were studying the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, equality, the Civil War, and slavery, and that's exactly what his eighth grade social studies class was studying. He was really excited to have my students come up and do a think-pair-share activity with his class. Unique learning, providing me a curriculum, really helps those types of inclusion activities to happen. Nice job. Nicely done, Robert. Abraham Lincoln said, no more slaves. Uh, is Jay going to 
say uh, you take his technology with him? He can take his iPad right up with him, absolutely. Uh, all right, Meg, can you get with Jay? Uh, uh, Jay. And he can operate that all, all by right. himself. But Jay, can yeah. you go up and uh, show us your tricks with your iPad? Okay. That boy, Jay. This kid, he can't wait to get up front. Yeah. All right, Jay, show us where you can go. Now say the whole sentence, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. Abraham Lincoln was president of our country during the Civil War. What is that? Very true. Good job. He was. Good job, nice Jay. job. All right. What group did I miss? Uh, was that Alex? I don't like not knowing all my students' names. <laughs> That's very important. Well, Fighting over slavery. Give it to me again. I didn't hear you. North and South are fighting over slavery. Okay. North and South are fighting over slavery. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you very much. That's the whole point of the war. Just a sample of how we use symbol sticks to support students in the classroom and in the school. We do use them in a variety of ways. I do what I do so that my students can be treated just like everyone else in the school. N2Y gives me the tools that I need to make this happen successfully.